Greetings to you, beloved beings of light. I am Saint Germain. I come forth with love and blessings, joy and peace to be with you in this moment. I bring forth all that I am, the magic, the mystery and the wonderful insights into the universe of the Creator. I give these to you so you may remember, within your own being, the truth that you are, the magic that you can bring to the world, the mystery that you can uncover and discover, and the remembrance that is your truth. Today I wish to speak of disconnection. When we think of disconnection, we think of a lack of connection. You may wonder why there is a need to dissolve a lack of connection. In this moment, I invite you to think of someone that you feel disconnected from. Maybe you have felt connected to them before but now, for some reason or another, you feel disconnected. You might also want to think of someone you see or acknowledge in your daily life, and you wish there was a connection, however there feels like a lack of connection. Even though there is a lack of connection, whether there was a connection before or not, it is important to realize that even a disconnection is an exchange of energy. So we begin to realize that if a disconnection is an exchange of energy, then there are numerous exchanges of energy that are not serving you in your current reality. Disconnection is an exchange of energy, but it's an exchange of energy that is somewhat awkward. It feels as if you are maybe giving and not receiving, or you are giving and it's coming back to you, or maybe you're not even giving. You feel so disconnected that you have lost that connection with yourself, in that moment, or with that person. This is an important aspect, to recognize whether you are giving energy, or whether you are actually disconnecting with yourself while either trying to, or not trying to, connect with another. When we speak of dissolving disconnection, we are actually speaking of this disconnection with self while trying to connect with others. It is something that happens often, and it can even occur within your relationship with the Creator. Maybe you have tried to manifest something, and it did not manifest. Maybe you asked for help from the Creator, and no help was given. You have placed your hope, and you have extended your energy to the Creator, and you feel or you see that there is no response, and so you create an exchange of disconnection. This exchange of disconnection is a disconnection with self. You almost lose connection with a part of yourself as if you banish, or you hide away a part of yourself. Dissolving the disconnection means that you bring back, you welcome back, that part of yourself into your being. You recognize it, you love it, and you acknowledge it. In doing so, this changes the exchange, the connection, not only with yourself, but with the other, whether it's one or many. You may notice that they are more open and more receiving to you even if they weren't in the past because, as you change and shift your own disconnection within, you create a new energy wave that extends to them and will impact and transform their own being as well. I, Saint Germain, I am speaking of disconnection with people or with a situation that you would like to, or it would serve you to, be connected. There are some connections that do not serve you, and it is appropriate to dissolve those if it is needed. I wish to first share a practice with you that can be used to create connection, whether you wish for those people you are connecting with to be in your reality or not. It is more of a healing connection that allows you to be served, supported, and loved. Then you can choose whether you physically wish to engage with that person or that situation. When a connection is made, even if it is a disconnection, when you bump into someone, and maybe you argue, or you don't see eye to eye, there is a disconnection made. A connection made that you might say is not harmonious. Everything that you recognize or acknowledge in your reality, and the inner planes has a connection, whether it is a positive one or a connection that is not harmonious. These connections come from within your being. They can come through your mind as mental connections. They can come as emotional connections. They can come as connections from the chakras. There are so many parts of your being from which connections can be created. Sometimes the issue is that a connection has been created from the wrong or the inappropriate part of your being that drains you or does not serve you. Imagine that person that you maybe had a connection with, but you no longer do, or you wish you had a connection with. 
As you think of them, allow yourself to bring your attention back into your being and acknowledge how you feel about this connection. To some extent, it doesn't matter how you feel about the connection or what you say about the connection in your mind. Simply acknowledge that whatever you experience about that connection is the connection that has been made. That's the energy that's flowing between you and also that the other person is adding to. Imagine that your connection with this person is almost like many, many strands of light. They may be different colors. They may be thick, they may be thin. They may be weak, they may be strong. They may come from your head area, they may come from another area or all over your body. Then imagine sense acknowledge that at your heart chakra, there is this waterfall, a gentle waterfall of light, and this light is flowing from your soul. It's like a healing bomb. Imagine sense acknowledge that you wash all these strands of light of connection or disconnection with this soul healing bomb energy. You can simply acknowledge or hold the intention or you might see it visually. As you create the bomb running through these connections, it will impact the other person as well. You're not necessarily putting forward what you want the connection to be. You're simply allowing. With this healing bomb from your soul, you're allowing your soul to create the connection that serves you. This might be that some of the cords are dissolved. Maybe all of them are dissolved. Or it might be that some remain but they've transformed into a higher vibration or a different energy. When you feel that this is complete, allow yourself to bring your attention back into your being. Acknowledge discover how you feel now. Think of the other person and acknowledge how you now feel about that other person. You might recognize that there is a new connection that has formed, or you might recognize that actually there isn't a connection. Only the connection that each and every being has because each and every being is the creator, that creator connection, rather than a connection on this level and dimension. That creator connection might be that you simply feel unconditional love for that person or situation, but you feel that there is no need for you to engage. You might still have some strands connected, and that might be appropriate and necessary. It might take many practices of working with the same person for you to enter into a new shift and awakening with this connection. The predominant purpose of this practice and me coming forth to bring this topic to your awareness is creating more harmony within your being, with others, with those around you and with situations around you. It is very easy to create dislike, disharmony and disconnection which, in actual fact, are still connections, but they are connections that do not serve you. It is immensely important to create connections that serve you whether that is setting you free or simply allowing you to rethink, re-see, re-feel and re-acknowledge a person or a situation. When you allow that soul energy of yours, within your being, to heal those strands, you are bringing the disconnection you've created within your being. You're bringing that aspect back to yourself. That may feel like a tremendous relief or release. It is important to also acknowledge at the end of the practice, that the aspect of yourself that you were disconnected with has now been restored by your soul to your being. Which means that you are no longer shutting the aspect away. I will leave you to contemplate my words. I thank you immensely as you create pure connections on the earth, so this will elevate the vibration of all. I thank you. I am Saint Germain. Original title. How to Dissolve Disconnection by St. Germain, channeled by Natalie Glasson at omnod.org. Thank you for watching Universal Lighthouse Galactic Messages and Spiritual Teachings. Please use your own personal discernment on all content posted. If you enjoyed the different authors that are shared, please subscribe to their content as well. You can visit our blog page at universallighthouse.com and subscribe to receive daily posts via your email. And while you are there, tune in to Universal Lighthouse Radio, broadcasting 24-7 for your vibrational needs.
Again, that's universallighthouse.com.